Hello everyone, this is Kedar Shailar from NCAM Planning Solutions. I welcome you all in this video. We have launched this project review dashboard especially for real estate projects. See how it works. When you open your folder, you will find these two files, the PPT file and the Excel file. If you change all the data in the Excel file, it will automatically reflect in the presentation file. Let's get to know about this amazing dashboard. Open your PPT file, you will find various sections in the dashboard. Every section represents different information about your project. So let's understand first how to link your dashboard to your Excel file and second what these sections are. So first select any chart, go to the filter, then go to the edit links to the file, then change source. Find your file, open it and update the values and then close it. This is how you need to link all these charts to the Excel sheet so that if you change the data in your Excel sheet, it will automatically reflect in your PPT file. Let's see how to change this data. Select any linked file, right click it, go to the edit data in Excel. You will find various sections here. If you change any data, let's see. I'm changing the start date of my project. You can check the data has been changed, right? This is how you need to update all the data in your Excel sheet and your dashboard will be run accordingly. So let's see what are these sections are in Excel sheet. First date, project name, then you need to give input about the project cost, then the project timeline, the RERA completion date, start date, completion date, then automatically the rest of the data will be reflected. Then the next part is a schedule variance. S curve is formed in this data. This is your cumulative planned versus cumulative achieved data. This is the area where you have to fill it. This will give you your planned value and achieved value here. The next section is the milestone section. In the milestone section, you need to update all these data so that your inflow versus outflow projections will come. The next is the resource data. All the data related to your resources like material, on-site agency, you have to update here in this Excel sheet. And the last part that is new vendors and the general dashboard. The new vendor data has to be filled in the general dashboard. The quality check and issues hindrances are given. The, this is where you can change all the data in the Excel sheet. Now let's get back to our dashboard. So understand the upper part of the dashboard. It is representing the general information of your project. Like this is your reporting date. This is your project name. This is your start date, RERA completion date, your project completion date, the delays in your project. On the second line, you will find the planned value, actual value. This is the financial status of your project. Besides that, there is a cost remaining part. How much cost is remaining and how much cost of work have you completed? It is shown here. Then the next part is your time remaining, the number of days remaining and the percentage of date completed are here. Then the financial status, this is the area where you will find cumulative planned versus cumulative achieved data. Then the next part is your milestone part. In this chart, you will find the inflow versus outflow projection, the sales inflow versus execution outflow data. You will find it. The green bar is your inflow and the red bar is your outflow. Then the next part, these are the key issues that your management want to see. You can update here so that your management will be able to understand what the issues your project is facing. Then the next part, this is your on-site labor strength and this is on-site material strength. Is. Then this is the milestone part where the next projections of your WBS of your activities are shown below that these are the new vendors at your site. You will get all the status of the various vendors from the different trades here, their deployment date, their expected rate and their remarks, whether is it confirmed or yet to be confirmed. Besides that, you will find the quality related data that is quality checks, number of NCs, the number of quality observations on your project and the pending payments of the subcontractors. So this is our dashboard is thanks for watching kindly like share and subscribe our YouTube channel. Thank you.